We here at Evolution Championship Wrestling are deeply saddened by the tragedy that struck Gatlinburg and Sevier County earlier this week. Together, we offer our thoughts and our prayers for the valiant people of Sevier County and for the first responders who risked their life to save others. We thank you. Please text the number on your screen if you can donate to the American Red Cross. But together, we can make a difference and Gatlinburg will indeed come back bigger and better than ever. This match would have been over twice now. What's going? Wait, hey, look oh, here. There's Vince, Vince Britt. Britt. What's Vince Britt doing here? Vince, Vince what? What in the Vince fuck? Britt? Is what it? is he doing here? That get in there. Vince Britt, you're not even a referee, man, get Vince in there. Britt. Get in there, referee. Get in there. Make that what? count. Get in there. One, Vince. two, come on. Make it, referee. What? You've got to be. Action right! What in God's name is going on? I love it. That's disgusting. No, you disgust me. That's doing what that you gotta do. Me. That is That's doing what you gotta do. That is garbage. That's doing what you, you gotta do. Thing. That you is disgusting. making you disgust me. 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 Championship Wrestling Television. I'm your host, Cowboy Jack Eastnate, alongside the young gun Cody Isis again this week. Man, uh, it's December. We're only a couple weeks away from Christmas. And uh, speaking of gifts, we've got an awesome show for you tonight. Lots of news. Um, but speaking of other gifts, how about Vince Brent last week? That's, yeah, what, a, what about Vince Brent? You know, first off, let me say this. The uh, management staff and the board of directors here at Evolution Championship Wrestling, we don't condone that. And no, coming from a gentleman that has been a competitor in this industry for a very long time, and quite frankly, just being a man, Vince Brent, that's not how you treat no, a woman. You're, you use the term gentleman very loosely with what happened. That's just ridiculous. But I tell you what, that was in the past. We're going to hear a little more about that, see a little more about that later on. But tonight, we've got the semifinals for the television championship. In two weeks, we're going to crown a new Evolution Television Champion. That's going to be amazing as we watch those two matches unfold. Ultimately, the third match as well. L.C. Black versus A.J. Anderson. And then Nick Hammonds takes on Brian Jeffries. 
man, that's some talent right there. That's some talent. I, I can't wait to see it. I enough. love television matches because they can't last that long. We've got to put them on this show. So it's got to happen quick. they got to get up there and get their stuff done. But, hey, let's go listen to Dallas Danger. He's standing by with our women's champion. Fans, I'm joined by the agency uh, and uh, the new women's champion here in Evolution Championship Wrestling, Kayla. But the, the thing that's on everybody's mind is, is Vince Brent, your involvement in this match, and, and why take those measures uh, like you did. I mean, everybody, everybody wants to know what was on your mind. Actually, I'm going to bring this back over here because that is actually on no one's mind at all. Because the fact of the matter is, we knew going into this match, Kayla was better. We knew going into this match that the agency, well, we were better. That's all that matters. Let me ask you this. If you could work smart or if you could work hard, which one are you going to do? If, if, you could, uh, if you could reach over and grab... $500 from a table, or you could go work for, for $5 an hour all your life. Which one are you going to? What are you doing here? Really? What are you doing here? Really? I never thought you would stoop so low than yeah. to attack a woman, especially from behind. I thought you were more of a man than that, Vince. Yeah. I had a lot of respect for you out the window. A lot of people lost a lot of respect for you and for you. I told you not to get involved. And then, match, what do you do? You walk ringside anyway. You defy any orders. All I did. I told you, I told you a few weeks ago, if you start getting involved in matches, that little feud me and you had, it wasn't a joke, I'd reignite it again. You don't want none of what we went through a few years ago. But, let me say this. Next week, your little Evolution X title, you're going to put that on the line. Yeah. In the ring, in the main event next week, Mr. Fighting Champion. Let's prove how big of a man you are, okay? Good. You got this. You got this, son. So you're going to defend that championship against Axton Ray and Toby Farley. Be, be in him a too, actually, triple you? threat match. Now, long. the board of directors have met, and they have decided a punishment for you, but you won't find out that punishment until after that match. Because that's fair. Have a great day. That's fair. How's that fair? How's that fair? This is exactly what I've been talking about. Biased Matt Rhodes. Cheat JC Black here at Evolution Championship. A punishment that you don't even know about until after a match against two competitors? How, how do you expect this? No, I do not stand for this as the leader of the... I'm taking care, I'm taking care of this. I'm, let's, we're, let's go. I'm taking care of this. Come on. After you, as champion. After you. Welcome 
to Evolution Championship Wrestling this week. Cowboy Jack Ringside along with Dylan Wayne Sizemore. You're the welcome. The young gun Cody Isis. Man, semifinals for that television championship. Nick Hammonds and Brian Jeffries in the ring. Gosh. I'll tell you what. Nick Hammonds. Nick Hammonds, he's been around for a minute. Nick Hammonds knows what it's like to wear some championship gold. Brian Jeffries never felt it before. Cody Isis, does that affect this match well absolutely and i'm going to tell you what uh, nick hammonds has going in his favor that he didn't and uh you know and, and i'm i'm going to go off a little bit of personal experience here if you talk about maybe one of my greatest opponents that i've ever had uh it's nick hammonds and me and him have looked across that ring many a times and not just championship gold it's been for a television championship uh, Nick Hammonds has a lot of experience in the division of television championship. It, it's defined his career as, as it defined my career. Uh, that, not just holding a goal, but holding the type of goal that he's going after today, that means a big deal. And this is another place that Nick Hammonds is competing. Nick Hammonds hasn't held gold here. Yeah. What does it do to a, man, to a man's just sake knowing everywhere I go? I win gold. Well, Nick Hammonds, uh, I'm going to tell you, it don't come any tougher when you get in the ring than it does some Nick Hammonds. Uh, uh, he has the people behind him almost everywhere he goes. And uh, in this division, he knows the ins and outs of it. Look, I, Dylan, I've, I've stood on the opposite side of the ring with him in television divisions uh, more times than I can count. Me and him have had hundreds of matches for television championships. Uh, this man knows this division as well as I do. Uh, I wouldn't want to be standing on the other side if I was any of these other guys from Nick Hammonds in this. Now allow me to play devil's advocate here for a minute. Heath Sneed, I'm going to ask you on this one. Uh, we've, we've talked about you know Nick's experience. We've talked about Nick's uh, title history. What does it do? Oh, this is new off Nick Hammonds walking I, the top Nick rope. Nick Hammonds doesn't normally do things like this. Oh, oh coming down big oh, on drag. That's new right there. Dylan Sizemore, you talk about not winning championship in this oh, company man. yet. Pulling out moves like that right there that's that we have never seen out of Nick Hammonds. That's how bad he wants it. He has added moves to his arsenal because he knows there's a lot of footage on Nick Hammonds. You can YouTube Nick Hammonds. Oh, you yeah. can look up NWA Smoky Mountain databases. You can find Nick Hammonds matches. You're not going to find that right there. Here's one thing I want to – that was perfect as Nick Hammonds jumps off Big Axe Sandal Big to Axe Brian Sandal. Jeffries. Yeah. To the floor. Nick Hammonds pulling out some moves I've not seen out of Nick. Here's what I wanted to ask, and, the, and that comment you just made plays perfectly into what I was about to ask. You can find footage, Nick Hammonds. It, it would be harder not to than harder to find footage of Nick Hammonds. Does the fact that Nick can find very little – on Mr. Jeffries, oh, have well, play into if it play into anything to not. Yeah, absolutely, uh, right there. And uh, you know, Brian Jeffries is a uh, former Iraqi War vet, and he just took uh, tough as a two dollar steak. Yeah, just in that alone, in that sense alone. Yeah, absolutely is. And and you just saw him running into the uh, the ring post right there. That's exactly what he did because Brian Jeffries, he knew Nick Hammonds wasn't going to expect that. You're not going to find a lot of Brian Jeffries matches out there. You're right. Nick hadn't had anything to study, and a lot of wrestlers take for granted the study time that goes on through the week and and seeing what your opponent has to do um, you know Brian Jeffries has a catalog of a lot of non-televised matches up until this point that works to Nick that works to Brian Jeffries favor in this because Nick Hammonds can't study his his moves but let's take a look at this just like you're saying there's plenty of footage of Nick Hammonds out there and just you know you've been in the ring Cody every match you have footage of how many matches was never recorded. Well, how many yeah. matches will never see the light of day because it was for a live crowd? you got to think of how many times Nick Hammonds has been in this squared circle. How many times has he got to the building not knowing who his opponent is? He's got to adapt. He's got to make that that impact when he comes to the ring, no matter who's on the other side. Well, that's and talking Nick about Hammonds it. is a veteran when it comes to the ring. Well, that's talking about experience right there. You know, Nick Hammonds, he's got a good 1,000 uh, matches above Brian Jeffries here. Brian Jeffries, uh, you know, he's got advantages in certain aspects, but when it comes to the experience factor, Nick Hammonds definitely has that this evening. But, you know, I've been in the ring with both of these guys. Don't count Brian Jeffries out. Uh, you know, as Dylan said earlier, yeah, he is tougher than a $2 steak. Uh, the man is, is a little uh, underappreciated in this area. Uh, he'll pull some stuff out that you won't, that you won't see coming. I'll tell you what, here is why I am not counting Brian Jeffries out. Nick Hammonds, he's been there. He's wore the gold. Brian Jeffries hasn't. Brian Jeffries ain't got nothing to lose here. He Brian Jeffries can lose. go in here all out, go it to the, throw it to the wall, see if it sticks. Brian Jeffries 
has nothing to lose, and that is a very freeing feeling but, when you're trying to come up with your next six and moves. And I'll tell ring. you another thing, too. Big Brian, drop kick. Big drop kick to the face. Brian Jeffries also has an extensive martial arts background. Not only does he have professional wrestling uh, training, he's got a martial arts background that uh, Nick Hammonds may not have seen in the past. And but, he, he needs to implore that. He needs to use that in this contest here yeah, it, uh, because what he's doing right now, uh, yeah. while it's been impressive, while I'm liking what I'm seeing, he's not kept Nick down yet. For but the Nick Hammonds knows what it feels like to walk out of the building with an extra 10 pounds in your bag. He knows how good that feels to be champion, and he wants to get that one more time. Well, you're right, but, but we talk about the strengths of Brian Jeffers right now. You know, uh, the Iraqi war and the martial arts background. He just took Nick Hammonds to the ground, and I don't know that taking Nick Hammonds to the ground with the experience he has is really the route he should take in this no. match. Not at all. As, and but it, but what he back is doing back to the middle of the ring. It, I just want to point that out real quick. Back yeah. right to the middle of the ring. What's Nick going to do? Nick now has to power out of the move. And it's taken him a while to get up to one knee where he's at now. Well, and right there it was. He didn't have to power out of it, but that big jawbreaker, and that's one of the best uh, counters to, to that hold that Brian Jeffries had. As Nick Hammonds now, uh, he needs to get some fire going. As Brian Jeffries right there. Oh, big DDT by Nick Hammonds. Oh, that's showing the ring awareness. That's showing the veteran skill, knowing what Brian Jeffries was doing. As Nick Hammonds hooks the neck, spins it around, drops him right on his face. A move like that, it may seem small these days. Think of how many opponents Jake Roberts put away with a DDT. Yeah. It's not small at all. That could have knocked no. Brian Jeffries loopy. That could have totally ruined his game plan. Well, that could have ended the match right there. I'll Brian Jeffries could think he's in Chicago right now for all we know. Yeah, well, I mean, the DDT, you talk about Jake Roberts, it, it did put uh, it did put me in easy money out, uh, the DDT did. I mean, you look at this right here. Well, we're going back and forth. Brian and Jeffries manning up. I just want to I'm, – I'm proud of it. Yeah, I'm a I'm – a, I'm And now Brian Jeffries saying, give me more. I'm pretty impressed with what I've seen out of Brian Jeffries thus far. Uh, you know, he took that DDT a minute ago, and he's he's still in the fight right now. That's, that's pretty impressive, guys. Brian Jeffries is every – and I've told him this – uh, when we've crossed paths in locker rooms, you know, go walking down the hallway, as Nick Hammonds, I just want to pause that thought for a second. Nick Hammonds taking a little time to pander to the crowd. Too much that time was a to pander to the crowd. That was a mistake. That is my problem with Nick Hammonds. Yeah. And I've voiced that problem every time I watch a Nick Hammonds match, especially yeah. here at Evolution Championship Wrestling, where I'm sitting here uh, analyzing everything. Oh, and Bron Jeffries almost took advantage of that with a schoolboy. And Goes for the super kick. Nick Hammonds ducks it. Back rolls. Uh, Oh, Big Enzigiri. Oh, right to the head right there. I, I'm going to give Bron Jeffries some credit right there. Had he been in the ring with somebody that didn't have the experience of Nick Hammonds, Bron Jeffries might have just won that match right Not there. Not even he that. Yeah. Had the referee been as half a second quicker. You know, I mean, it, it, Bron Jeffries could have won this match two or three different times by now. Yeah. Nick Hammonds almost cost himself this matchup, and he would have had himself to blame for it on that one. Goes for that oh. cutter, drops it oh, right here we go. Bron Jeffries. Jeffries, capitalize, capitalize. One, two, whoa. Ooh. I thought he had it. Big it, near fall. We almost saw Bron Jeffries in the finals in two weeks. Yeah, well, the thing about did. it is Nick Hammonds has wore him down. Bron Jeffries, it took him a second to regroup, recalculate, recover. That's what that's what stopped him from winning this match right there was the beating Nick Hammonds put on him early. Bron Jeffries calling for something too much time. Nick Hammonds ducks. Oh, there it is. Down the cutter by Nick that's Hammonds. Good and clean. Over. the leg. Two. Yeah. That's it right there. Nick Hammonds can hit that from you from any angle, and it's three seconds away at that point, guys. I'll tell you what, Nick Hammonds advances to the finals two weeks from now. Evolution Championship Wrestling Television Tournament. But out of this match, I'm going to take a couple different things. One, Nick Hammonds still hasn't lost a step. Two, Nick Hammonds still needs to not care about the crowd at all because he almost cost himself that match. And three, that Brian Jeffries looks at him and says, thank you, sir, no, may I right have here. another. Class act right there. Yeah. Show respect by Nick Hammonds. Guys, Brian Jeffries. Just showed us what he's made of right there, guys. Brian Jeffries looked at him and said, thank you, sir. May I have another? Nick Hammonds respects him for it, and I guarantee the yeah. locker room does. And I'll say this. I, I, I've gained some respect for him in that one. Yeah. And we're going to see if Nick Hammonds has what it takes in two weeks to get that television championship. Fans, we're back right after this. Fans, I'm here with Toby Farley. Toby, we learned earlier from Matt Rhodes that you're going to be facing Vince Brandt and get a chance to enact some revenge there. But we also know now that Axton Ray is going to be involved in a three-way dance with you for this Evolution X Championship. What's your strategy going in with both of those elements involved? Plain and simple, my strategy is always the same. Kill or be killed. Vince Brent, I have chased you all over this state. 
and you got something I want, you got that Evolution X belt, plain and simple, I want it. I'm going to get it. War cries being heard tonight in Elizabethton, Tennessee. White trash millionaires, Memphis Mafia. I tell you what, if there's one thing I can say about this, those four men, they had a problem. Those four men beat the living hell out of each other. Those four men's problems solved. Now they're on the same side. And there ain't two tougher tag teams than these guys standing in the ring right now. And this just screams chaos, mayhem and anarchy. I didn't know how true I, that was when I said it earlier, but good Lord. They put the locker room on notice here tonight. They've put every tag team in the country on notice, Heath Snead. Shout out to Jamie Gibson right there. Good job, guys. Welcome back. It's L.C. Black and A.J. Anderson. A.J. Anderson arriving in style here tonight in Elizabeth, Tennessee. I like that style that man arrived in. If you got the, if you got the means to it, by all means, ball out, son, and that's what he did. 
Well, given that limo you saw them come in on earlier. You know, me, yeah. and, me and the Rev have had a few business deals. I know what I know what he's working with. He's good. We got some action going on in the ring. We had some music going on in the ring. It's it's lit here tonight in Elizabeth. It is crazy it's lit. here in Evolution. It's lit. I'm speaking like the kids do. Oh, oh God, Dylan. No. AJ Anderson back in the corner now. LC Black trying to gain an upper hand crowd behind him. AJ Anderson, not really. Not really with the fan following here tonight. And if he's smart, he'll keep it that way and he won't pay attention to it. Well, let's talk about LC Black a minute here, guys. Uh, the gentleman has came out. He's taken a lot of flack for being the boss's son. But he's he's come through and he, he's shown us a lot lately. Well, you know, I'm, I I could show somebody a lot too if my if my dad's the if my dad's the man calling the shots. Well, that's, the difference, Dylan Sizemore, is LC Black plays by the rules, and yeah, that's his that's, problem. He's not been given that's anything. His problem. That's everything he, he has gotten. Play, he has earned him playing by the rules. Him trying to earn things is why he's out here in the first match instead of being out here in the last match. Yeah, I'd rather be in the third match playing by the rules, taking everything I earned, than than cheating every way I get to the top. But let's look how at much this way. Is that how third many, match pay versus how much is that main event pay, Cody? How many matches has the kid been in? total so far period you know i'd say we're probably somewhere around the the 10th to 12th match lc exactly career. he's barely in double digits you well, got a main event over no 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 josh dobbs came to tennessee he started as a quarterback within his first within his first season that doesn't matter experience does not matter so, if you've got it you've got it if you don't got it you don't got it and okay. if you don't got it and you got a way to get it and you don't get it you're stupid so i'm guessing his four years in high school and all the uh junior leagues before we that didn't count you either. know what he shut up Shut up, Heath. If you got it, you got it. If you don't got it, you don't get it. And if you don't got it and you don't try to get it by doing whatever it takes to get it, you don't deserve to have it. You know, That's I, why he's in the ring getting it handed to him right now. Did you follow any of that, Cody? Yeah, I did because I, too, paid attention in first grade when we went through the past, present, and future tense of words. <laughs> so here we go. Back to the action right now. Back AJ to the Anderson action. AJ Anderson way. has the action right now. LC. In the oh. oh man, I thought you I know, thought that was going to be a chop, but no. Here's the thing: do it again, son. Do it again. That's just dirty. You do that right there when you a have nothing else to dirty. do. And in front a of chop the ref, is dirty. That wasn't chop. a chop. Hey, let me ask. What let me, screen were you watching? What match? Did he chop his here? groin? Exactly. You know what? You know what? It's possible. It's possible. You don't know what the man was trying to do. Oh. AJ Anderson after a sunset I, flip, looking right here, big clothesline right there on the LC Black. Let, let AJ ask, Anderson let, let, just uh, tried to punish the kid. I know what AJ's trying to do. Let me ask y'all this. Let me ask y'all this. What is the end goal, no matter who you are, when you step in that squared circle and the bell rings? All you do is win. win. You, you heard him walk Heath, out. Heath, what's, what's the main goal? Win. You win the match. You main. put your You'll opponent win. on the mat for a three count. There we go. I don't One, care how two, you do three. it. If you can do it and you can get it done, do it. If, it. if that's what he wants to do, if that's the way he wants to do it, as long as he gets that three right. at the end, it doesn't matter. Right. Well, LC yeah. Black had things going his way, but that right there, that is a rookie mistake. He let the rev distract him long enough. That's the oldest trick in the book. That's Not that a, I would ever that's done a that, three but count. that's the oldest trick in the book. And three of LC's seat just hit second and third rows over here. Um, now let me ask you boys this. Let me ask you boys this going back to the beginning. How does all that heart, how does all that playing by the rules, how does all that stuff work for LC laying there with his back flat on the mat looking up at the lights, AJ getting his hand raised? Obviously, That's all I'm yeah. going to say on the subject. Well, all we got to say is we're out of time, folks. Uh, we'll see you next week.